Yeah, Juliet, that fast track actually happened more than 30 years ago. And what we learned during the AIDS pandemic may set a treatment blueprint for how we battle this one. It's going to get better and better. On Monday, Dr. Anthony Fauci announced the good news from the White House. A drug can block this virus. Now, that drug, remdesivir, made by Gilead Sciences in Foster City, is authorized for emergency use against COVID-19. Some very sick patients got better sooner. It was reminiscent of 34 years ago in 1986 when we were struggling for drugs for HIV, and we had nothing. The early days of AIDS in San Francisco. Former KPIX reporter Hank Plant covered it. They were very bleak years in the beginning. Unbelievable fear. Not unlike in some ways with our with COVID these days. Longtime HIV AIDS activist Jeff Sheehy. Both remember in the 80s hearing the news that the FDA had fast tracked a drug. Hope in the form of a pill called AZT. It was uh, very similar to the situation today. AZT was not easy to take. People had to take it every four hours. Remdesivir is also difficult to use. It's an IV drug given in the hospitals to very sick patients over the course of five to 10 days. Fusion is not going to work for the millions of people around the world who are at risk or have COVID. These drugs have modest benefits. They don't prevent or cure disease. But as Dr. Fauci said about AZT, building on that every year after we did better and better. That caught the reporter in Hank Plant. Uh, he's a very, very cautious guy. And to me, he sounds very optimistic. And she, he who is HIV positive, says he is alive today because of this first step. AZT was, was showed us the way to go. Now, these drugs were also developed to treat other conditions. Remdesivir was developed to fight Ebola. AZT, created in 1964, was to treat cancer.